hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana and today i'm going to do my march wrap up i'm going to talk about the book the books that i read the books that i'm currently reading and a movie one movie that i watched during the month of march so beginning with the books that i read it was my last video I'm having some timing problems <laughs> with my schedule. I already pu published a post in my community tab about it. If you didn't see it, go to my community tab and read the post. You will understand why I'm not posting so regularly during Tuesdays. But I'm trying my best to keep things going. But let's see how that goes. But it, it won't come as a surprise because this is my last video. And that is The English Patient by Michael Ondaatje. So this is passing during the end of the Second World War. It begins in April of 1945. And we have a situation where we are in Italy, in north of Florence, and we have um, a convent that was transformed in a hospital, and there we have two characters, a nurse and patient that they call the English patient. He's burned all over his body, and he's disfigured, and he says that he doesn't remember his name, what happened to him and so on and so forth and they are alone in that hospital because they were left behind because the nurse wanted to be like that because you know the patient the english patient is dying he's in more uh, taking morphine so he's in his last days of life and the nurse didn't want to move with the other patients and the doctors and nurses to another place so she preferred to stay behind and so we have their day today how they manage with the food and how she lives in the in the convent in the hospital she reads to him when she can find uh, books in english because she is canadian she uh, took uh, education as a nurse in Canada and was uh, in a mission to Sicily, I think, at the beginning of the war. And then she ends up in Italy, uh, but in Florence. So we have those characters. And uh, at the beginning, we don't know the name of the nurse. We will only know the name of the, the nurse um, a bit later with another character called Caravaggio that is a patient in, a, in Rome in a Rome hospital and he hears someone talk about this nurse that is being uh, is taking care of an English patient and is he flees the hospital in Rome and goes to Florence. Then we have sapers that are working for the British army and we have a Sikh that is called Kirpal Singh uh, and Sam Hardy and they stay so then in the middle of the book we have in the convent we have the English patient Hannah the nurse, Caravaggio, Kip, Sam Hardy is not so talked about, but he's in, he's there, but he's not some of, uh, we can say that he's a main character, so the main characters are what I, what I told you, and then we have the interaction between them, and then we have intrusions of the, the sh in chapters, about the past of the English patient. At the beginning, it's told to the reader, as my understanding, 
And then the English patient is telling his story to Caravaggio because Caravaggio is suspicious of the English patient. And more I won't tell because I made a, vi a video all about it and I have a video and that video has a bit of spoilers but I uh, warn you before I talk about it so <laughs> but be aware of it. Uh, if you're interested I also talk about the movie adaptation of this book that it was my first contact with this work and I adore the movie but of course they have differences I explain them to you in the video so go check it out I will link it in the in the cards in the charts or in the cards or how you say it and down below so you to go there and watch it and now the book that I'm currently reading is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov but I'm still really at the beginning so I read three pages if so so I don't have mm, a feeling now of the book but just for you to, do, for you to know what I'm reading this is my cur current reading so there we go and then about the movie that I watch I watched The Anatomy of a Fall that's a French movie from last year 2023 the director is Justine Triet or Triet I don't I don't know how well to pronounce it but I think I will leave the name in the screen for you to see uh, I didn't know this director and I didn't even know Sandra Huller that is the protagonist or at least one of the protagonists of this movie but basically we have um, a couple with a almost blind 11 to 12 years old child a boy they are living in a village in France she is German he is French uh, they lived in London for a while but the child when he was four years, years old had an accident and that's why he now is almost blind and the child has a dog that guides him so he I don't know the term for that but I I think you know what I mean um, and so they are in France in this house and we have the first scene is an interview because the, the wife is a writer and we understand that the husband is also a writer but is not, is not publi publicating uh, at the moment the wife is uh, and we have the scene that a young lady, a young woman, a student, is wants to interview the character of Sandra Huller. And a bit after, a loud music starts and so the interview becomes impossible to do. And she, the character of Sandra, the wife, explains that he's the husband that is working upstairs and at the beginning she tries to continue the interview but you know the the woman the young lady it's a bit she, she doesn't know what to do because she's a bit uh, tense you know so they end the interview and um, the student goes away and then we see a scene where the child goes on a walk with his dog and then when he when they come back from the walk we see a man in the snow because it was snowing at the time or the the landscape was all uh, with snow and we see blood and we see the child uh, 
touching the body and screaming for his mother and we have the mother coming down and calling the ambulance and so on and so forth so something happened an accident perhaps but uh, the way then the things turn out the wife becomes the primary suspect of a murder because the, the house had three floors so the first second and then an attic uh, and he at the beginning of the movie supposedly was in the attic where it had windows that open and then she calls her lawyer he talks to her what they can do to defend her and then there is a, a trial and so the movie is very slow we can say because it's all about the trial and then we have a um, third party that comes to the house with the mother and the son to supposedly make sure that the child is not influenced by the mother because the child is the first witness then we have uh, moments well we figure out or we get to know that the husband sometimes will record parts of the day with his family and he had recorded a, a discussion an argument that he had with his wife the prior day to the accident um, and she he was accusing her of stealing his work or stealing his idea for a book and you know so that is presented in the court and so the accusation is trying to uh, prove that she murdered him and the defense of course is trying to pr to prove that it was that he fall or that he fell from the third floor of the house hit his head in some um, i don't know how to call it a uh, uh, cottage not cottage um, some kind of boxed Thing that they have in front of the house and he hit the ground so it was an accident so and it's funny because the crucial point in the turnout of events of the movie will be the child and uh, at least is my opinion of course but you get prepared is a slow movie is um, the character development movie is uh, um, I then went and saw some videos of theories about what the movie meant and the hidden hints about what was the direction of or what was the moral of the story you know so go and watch those videos because I think the theory the theories that they present are very interesting and it made me think about the movie in a different perspective because the cinematography with the shots that they chose to show to you I now understand I'm meaningful and they aren't random because as long as I was watching the movie I sometimes saw you know a shot of the stairs a shot uh, of the uh, the window of the attic and sometimes it seems like a filler but if you watch some theories about some videos about theories of the movie or about the movie you will kind of feel that perhaps not perhaps it wasn't random perhaps the director had a particular objective to showing us that 
So it's very interesting all the surroundings and all the conspir not conspiracy, I'm sorry, but the theories about if it was an accident, if it was murder, if it was <laughs> and also the um, the meaning and yes, the meaning uh, that the fact that a child is almost blind brings to the story and how perhaps you as um, outsider are also blind to who is to blame, if there is blame or not. So it's a very interesting movie, but in my opinion, I think it's also important to go watch some videos about the theories that are surrounding the dog also why for example why the movie begins with the sound of the paws of the dog walking so so many details that when you are seeing when you are watching the movie you are not thinking about it at least i wasn't but then when you watch those theory movie videos and then you remember the movie in, in your head, you kind of, yeah, that, that makes sense. So do your research, you will find it very fascinating, at least I did. And yeah, I really enjoyed the movie and um, I didn't know Sandra Huller. I'm sorry if that's, well, my a fault of mine, I'm, of course it is, but I didn't know her, um, but I was very uh, impressed by her portrayal and there is a particular scene of the argument that I thought it was one of the high points of the movie. The way that a couple argues, you know, uh, and there's a line that she says to the lawyer or in the trial, now I'm not sure, that you know one day or one argument between a couple doesn't translate uh, uh, the life they have you know that's a moment that's uh, an episode that doesn't translate what the the whole dynamic of the couple i thought that was interesting so many factors here are in the game and I think you will find it very fascinating but expect to be a slow paced movie but if you don't mind it I think you will enjoy it very much so go and watch it so that's it for me please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can be notified whenever I post, leave a like, uh, it helps a lot with the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel, follow me on Instagram and on all other socials that I have, they will be linked down below and I will see you in the next